Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoods.org. What if I told you there was a non-drug way to reduce your risk of heart attack, stroke, appendicitis, bowel and bladder incontinence, hemorrhoids, hyaluronias, GERD, colon cancer, irritable bowel disease, inflammatory bowel disease, constipation, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, prostate cancer, hernias, diverticulitis, pelvic organ prolapse, and possibly more? In today's blog, I'm going to give you that intervention that you can start today, or if you prefer, maybe tomorrow. Now I know what you're saying, that's too good to be true. You can look at cultures that squat to take a dump versus Western cultures that sit on a throne to take a crap. Between those two, there tends to be a huge discrepancy in the incidence of the diseases I just listed. They are rare or missing in the squatting to poop cultures and they're extremely common and increasing in Western cultures where I happen to live. So what am I proposing here? Well, what I'm proposing is that you squat when you take a shit. It's pretty simple. Of course, primitive humans didn't sit while they were defecating. That came later when the modern toilet became widespread and that was back in the 1800s. Before that, we squatted and we did our dirty deed on the ground or in a pot or maybe in a hole. But now we sit kind of like we're sitting in a chair or as sometimes described as on a throne. Well, sitting puts our rectum at the wrong angle, so it doesn't allow gravity to aid defecation. Plus, sitting causes kinks in our rectum, which further impedes complete evacuation. On top of all this, when we're sitting, the puborectalis muscle is pulled tight across the rectum. Now, the puborectalis muscle is the main contributor to continence in humans, so that we don't soil ourselves with crap and then we'd need a diaper. The puborectalis muscle is a muscle shaped like a sling and it goes around the rectum to keep it closed. This sling muscle automatically releases its grip on the rectum when we're in a full squatted position. To overcome the sitting position, what we've learned to do is do a big Valsalva. That's hold our breath and strain and that is probably what causes a lot of those adverse health consequences that I just listed a minute ago. Now I know what you're saying. I haven't gotten into a full squat position in 40 years. Okay, I'll cut you some slack. In that case, you should start today increasing the range of motion of your hips, knees, and ankles and maybe your spine, and eventually it's likely that you will be able to squat again. Now those with a hip or knee replacement or severe osteoarthritis, you might need to make some modifications to a full squat uh, that you won't be able to get into a full squat. In my view, being able to squat though has way more benefits than just the ones I already mentioned. If a person is able to get in the squatting position and stay there, that means you're able to achieve full range of motion of your weight-bearing joints and your spine. This will help prevent other epidemic diseases of Western cultures like osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, degenerative spine disease, and the chronic pain that's associated with these conditions. So here we have a remedy that's simple. It doesn't cost much money and it prevents many diseases that have the potential to make your life miserable. Now, what a simple thing to put this return to nature procedure into practice and avoid all the bullshit treatments, uh, pardon the pun, that mainstream medicine has come up with to treat these conditions. None of these treatments address the cause of the problem, which unfortunately, is the standard of care in Western medicine, which is you ignore the cause at all costs. If you're able to squat, there's a simple way to convert your toilet into one that you can squat to defecate. 
All you do is take four standard cinder blocks, that's the eight by eight by 18. I'd take a steel brush and wipe off the loose pieces, and then I'd recommend painting the blocks so they don't uh, degenerate. Uh, stack the blocks horizontally on each side of the toilet, two blocks on each side. Cut a piece of plywood in a U shape that goes over around the toilet and it's open in the back. Then I would, I would paint the wood as well, the uh, plywood. And that's in case you miss one day, have a bad aim, it'll clean up better if you've uh, painted it. Then you place the wood on top of the cinder blocks and now you have a toilet where you can squat to defecate. Once you do this little construction job, for under 10 bucks in cost, you can start down the road to prevent or improve any of those conditions that I mentioned above. It's way better than having a bladder sling inserted, a hemorrhoidectomy, a prostatectomy, a colectomy, an appendectomy, a hernia repair, a hiatal hernia surgery, a hysterectomy, a joint replacement, a spine fusion, or even more likely get put on some toxic drug. You can also avoid the countless other procedures that are done often for chronic pain. Now I know most of you won't do this, but it's truly crazy not to. Get back to nature, including getting back to defecating the way you're designed. This is Dr. G, thanks so much for watching.